specifically about that, having the fear of loud noises or re overreaction, reacting with alarm to unexpected noises. What, what do you recommend in those instances? Yeah, this is a really common thing with our kids um, with sensory processing disorder and autism. You know, it, it's it's alarming for all of us. And our body, first of all, is designed to respond to sound in a startling way, especially when it's an unexpected sound. And it's a protection mechanism. We have to remember that a lot of time, well, we're designed to respond to sound to protect our bodies. So when you hear, you know, a firework or a big bang on the road, you know, you kind of startle. So first of all, right, it's important important that in these kids that are hyper or higher responsive, that they do respond um, way further than they probably should to these noises. So as far as the hairdryer and the vacuum cleaner, these are very common things that kids with autism are afraid of or, or react to. So there is, like you suggested, Shannon, the noise canceling headphones, but it's it's easy to put those on when you maybe are on the bus and you don't like the rumble of the bus or if you're at a fireworks show and you're hiding, you know, hiding from the noise. But if, if something like a hairdryer, it's kind of difficult. So my suggestion, I have a few of them. Um, first of all, this is a problem that my own two children and many of my clients have. You, you want to just give the child control of it. So even this teenager. So, you know, if I were him, I would want to control the sound as much as I could. So I would just give him different hair dryers, you know, collect a few and let him turn them on and off and control the sound. So being in control is very important. Um, and then I actually have a product out that you didn't, you know, we didn't even discuss this ahead of time. No, but I didn't, but I want you to tell people about your CDs sure. that you have because they're a wonderful thing for people who have these kinds of issues. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's so common that when my kids were undergoing ABA long ago, um, the suggestion was to let them to control the sound. Of course, the hair, you know, hair dryers are easy because you can obviously obtain a hair dryer and plug it in and kind of control it. But I took sounds, the common ones like hair dryer, but then there's thunder, fireworks, um, sirens, alarms, and things. And I basically wrote lyrics to nursery rhymes. So common nursery rhymes. So instead of uh, Mary had a little lamb, it's blender, blender, it's okay. And then we put beats to them. So giving the child something grounding to listen to. And so the CDs are just desensitization CDs so that um, and they're available on my website also by track so let's just say mom wanted to get the hair dryer one um, or the lawnmower one or whatever it is it's just a nice way to kind of give music and rhythm to a fearful sound um, so you know again then doing some kind of proprioceptive input to his body while he's listening to to the hair dryer. So again, giving him maybe a weighted blanket or some sort of calming input while listening to the sound is very important. Okay. So um, those so, are the few suggestions that I have. If you want more, I can go on. <laughs> on your website though, people can download the CDs or, or, or did you say that they could download just the track that's the one they want? They can, or they can download the whole CD. Okay. And if they don't, you know, some people don't like that. They'd like to actually have the physical CD. I'm one of those people. The CDs are for sale on Amazon as well. Okay. And we're in the middle of switching to uh, Fulfilled by Amazon because they're selling so quickly that I can't physically keep sending them out. So we're in a little bit of a uh, process of giving them to Amazon so that they can be fulfilled quicker. Okay. But uh, yeah, it's really important though with these kids to just give them control as much as possible. And then that way, um, you know, they can feel what it feels like. There's a little bit of a, uh, a physical component to the hair dryer. you know, when it's blowing that that might even feel good. Um, to, to this boy or any other child, you know, sometimes there's like a vibration or when the air flows out, it, it kind of provides a little bit of a good feeling. So even if he blows the warm air on him, you know, those things might help as well. Okay. So your website is www.pocketot.com. <laughs> yes. Um, but what is the name of the CDs so that if somebody goes to Amazon, they know what to look for? Sure. The CDs are called Sound Ease. So S O U N D, then Ease, E A Z E. Okay. And the other one is School Ease. So okay. School, then E A Z E. Wonderful. So people can check those out. Kara, you're such a wonderful resource. Thank My you. My goodness. Thank you. Um, and we so appreciate everything that you're doing. Now, do you have another book that's coming in this in this genre? Are you working I on another book? Do. Tell me. Yeah. 
Well, I'm working on a few projects with other people that I can't talk about, but okay. at least in in the in my series of books, I'm going to work on first of all these playdate tips. I'm going to download them in a little ebook so that they can be downloaded, and I'll elaborate on some of these strategies. So um, that's going to be a little ebook. But then I'm working on a teenager book because a lot of you know kids that are older, they don't have a lot of there's not a lot of resources for these kids. So what does SPD look like in teens? What social skills can we work on in teens? So that's coming. Wonderful. Boy, do we need that book. Um, mm -hmm. Because as our kids it. are aging <laughs> and, and getting older, and you know, you've got two kids, as, as our kids are getting older, um, we are needing more resources for those teenagers, uh, preteens, teenagers, and the kids going into adulthood. And I, I honestly think that those sensory processing issues get much bigger and much more noticeable in that year, uh, in those years. And that if we don't deal with them, that's where we get into that, that hamster mill of the anxiety, um, because they're not dealing with the sensory processing thing. So I think it's awesome what you're doing.